Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm going to do a video here on a couple different types of coax. We have some RG393, uh, actually it's the mil spec version, M17 RG-393, people just call it RG393, and some SFT-600 coax, both high power types of uh, coax used for all sorts of different high power applications, jumpers, uh, high power jumpers, uh, service loop uh, uh, connections between the uh, tower and the the, the uh, feed point the, on a Yagi, um, also connections within high power amplifiers. So um, I'm going to show the differences between the two coaxes. I'm going to actually uh, read out the, the spec differences between each one. Uh, I have the uh, the camera that'll show uh, you know the different types of coax, but you know that only shows so much. I'll read everything out. Okay, so the blue stuff is actually SFT 600. This stuff is pretty pricey. The only online distributor that sells it sells it for $47.27 a foot. It's, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Uh, I, I'm not sure how much the RG393 is selling for. That, that stuff you can buy it anywhere. You can buy it on eBay or wherever, but this SFT600 stuff is really hard to come by in uh, decent amounts. Uh, you, know, you have to buy it from that distributor. You can't really get it anywhere else. So uh, The uh, SFT600 interconductor is actually .160 inches. The RG393 is 0 0.096. The dielectric of the SFT600 is Teflon, Teflon wrapped. It's not excreted like the 393. It's basically the same thing. So the dielectric of the SFT600 is 0 0.455. The RG393 is 0.285. The SFT600 at 30 megahertz at 100 feet is rated for 17.06 kilowatts. The RG393 is rated for 8.612 kilowatts at 30 megahertz, 100 feet, you have 50 ohms. So um, the SFT600 is rated for point, I'm sorry, negative 67 to positive 392 degrees Celsius. The RG393 is rated for negative 55 to positive 200 degrees Celsius. So, big difference in the two pieces of coax, SFT, they both have a stranded center conductor, they're both very flexible, you can flex it, without having to worry about damaging anything. Um, SFT 600 has a dual shield, isn't, it isn't silver plated, but no, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's tin, I believe it's like a tin copper, then there's a foil, and then there's another type of material. So, great stuff. They both have the FEP jacket. So, I have about 700 feet of the SFT coax. I use it for all sorts of different things. I'm going to start selling it off. I'll be listing it on my website in pieces. I have, uh, I don't know, about 800 feet or so of RG393. A uh, beautiful thing about the RG393 takes the same connector as the RG8 series coax uh, and also the LMR400 series coax. Uh, the uh, clamp solder connectors at times sells. The SFT600 takes the same connectors, the EZ style connectors, um, same connectors that the uh, LMR600 coax takes. So you can get LC connectors, you can get 716 DIN. Whatever, um, great stuff. So this stuff will, I think, will revolutionize uh, the industry when it comes to service loops and anything else you needed this coax for. So if anyone ever needs any, let me know. Uh, great stuff. So thanks for watching and have a blessed night.